The passing of King Von affected the entire rap industry in a massive way, with millions of people listening to his music, understanding that he truly lived the life that he rapped about. Many felt that he was invincible, as possibly King Von himself may have felt that way too. Even recently, Boosie would share King Von's biggest mistake on the night that it happened. Like you said, the King Von situation. Like, there, there was absolutely no reason for for Vaughn to, to be rolling around with that dude. Like, there was no, especially since he had security, like, you know, someone should have jumped in. It, it should have never even, you know, King I almost feel like, yeah, but I almost feel like if all you have real security. Bad. All of them is supposed to blast. I feel like they would have been more ready in Chicago. Sad, man, sad. I mean, the whole King Vaughn thing is really yeah, kind of hanging. Me up, over bro. everyone right now. That me up, bro. You know, cause I like King Von. You know? However, rappers would reveal new details about the truth behind King Von's passing. As on November fifth, twenty twenty, King Von and his crew were prepared to head over to a club in Atlanta for his newest album's release party. The night was supposed to be a massive celebration of the life and success of King Von, but nobody knew that it would be so short-lived as King Von had many enemies. Growing up in a very dangerous place as Oblock, he knew the risks of being caught lacking in public, so when rolling out to the club, King Von's crew consisted of 20 to 25 members of Oblock spread out across eight vehicles that all went to the celebration party. Even King Von's manager 100k track spoke on the extreme measures that King Von took regarding his security. I travel with one security that moves with Von and he traveled with two more security. You know what I'm saying? Von travel in a proof truck. And not only that, his guys are security, man. He travels with 10 to 15 guys daily. They protect and love Von more than any security would. We're like, I think we're about eight, 10 cars deep, uh, 20, 25 on honorage. Um, However, later on in the night, something would change. King Von would act out and he would put his entire life in jeopardy. In the meantime, King Von's party was going great. Everyone was celebrating, having a good time and celebrating the success of Von's album. But once the party ended at 2.30, the entire mood changed. King Von and his entourage began exiting the club with the plan of everyone returning to the Airbnb for the night. But King Von had other plans in a split moment. Everybody mind leaving the club is that we're going to the hotel and the Airbnb because that's normal routine. The club you went to, the after hours wasn't getting paid for. I didn't have no acknowledgement of this team that have no acknowledgement of. That was a, that was a complete Von decision. With the whole crew heading over to the Airbnb, King Von would tell his driver to go to a different club known as the Monaco Lounge. This would end up being the first decision of many that led to the passing of King Von. Well, everybody else that was with us driving to the Airbnb and Von literally went to the venue by himself. It's we got a call later from um people in the car like hey bro we here by matter of fact I think from his DJ was like hey bro you know we here by ourselves like where you guys at and everybody rerouted to that venue. For some reason, the people in King Von's truck only let the rest of the team know the plans once they arrived at Monaco. That means the 20 to 25 members of Oblock all arrived to the Airbnb. Meanwhile, they were supposed to be protecting King Von. When the rest of the team found out, they immediately hopped all back into their vehicles and started driving to the club instantly. Von's manager was texting the Airbnb guys saying that King Von was acting very strange. He was not acting like himself as he's usually a very upbeat guy. Vaughn's security would end up arriving to the Monaco Lounge with King Vaughn and his manager. The security all went and scoped out the club, making sure there was no ops or firearms in the location, while King Vaughn sat in his car for 30 minutes. For some reason, Vaughn wasn't himself. This man is like, I promise you, the, the best artist I ever moved in my life. For some reason that night, it was all like, we, he stayed in the car for like 30, 35 minutes. King Von's manager 100K track would then go on and check on Von. Von finally agreed to go into the lounge after 100K track was begging him for over 10 minutes. Due to Monaco's club rules, King Von's entire crew had to leave their firearms in the club as they first sent security in to go check the club, making sure everyone was safe. I went to the car he was in, I was like, yo, Von, went inside the passenger seat. I'm like, yo, Von, bro, what's going on? Like. Right, everybody here waiting, let's go. He was like, all right, let's go. We're telling security, hey, it's time to go in now. Vaughn's ready, you know what I'm saying? We've been here too long, let's go inside the club. They check the venue, go inside, check the outside, make sure there's no 
with all of Vaughn's security inside of the club, with all of their firearms inside of their vehicles, the real danger was actually outside in the parking lot the entire time. This is because Quando Rondo was in the car with a couple of his own members trying to get some sleep. It would be revealed in 2024 that King Vaughn was having beef going on with one of Quando Rondo's friends on Instagram the entire night, which is what put King Vaughn in the bad mood since 2 a.m. When King Vaughn's friend told him that he was sitting in the parking lot, this is when King Vaughn immediately hopped out of his truck, spotted Quando Rondo beside his car, and King Vaughn immediately beelined it towards the rapper. Now, right before we go inside the club, one of his um one of his homeboys he came to the car and said, "Hey, so and so's here," and Vaughn just jumped up like, "Oh, come on, let's go." King Von reacted instantly once he saw Quando Rondo's face. Von's team tried to get him to chill out and not start a scene, but that obviously didn't stop him. King Von went around the front of the white vehicle owned by Quando and immediately began swinging towards Quando Rondo, knocking him onto the ground. He jumped up, jumped out the car. By the time Von jumped out the car, I don't even think he knew where so-and-so was. He just jumped out the car. He bumped into so-and-so. As soon as he bumped into so-and-so, started brawling. Then only a couple seconds into the brawl, while King Vaughn is on top of Quando, Quando's best friend Lil' Tim ends up hopping out of the back side of the white car with his firearm and hits King Vaughn multiple times across his body. He also ended up hitting Vaughn's manager once in the leg as well. There was two members of Vaughn's crew that were still strapped. They instantly retaliated against Lil' Tim, hitting him and making him fall to the ground. With the noise of the clips going off in the area, coincidentally, there was two off-duty officers working security down the street, as well as one on-duty officer pulling up to the scene. They didn't want to get too seen of the crime for safety reasons, so they began using their firearms in the general location, trying to make everyone calm down. But sadly, they ended up hitting one of King Vaughn's members, and he sadly passed. During this, King Vaughn was lying in the middle of the street with Quando right beside him. King Vaughn was using Quando as a shield, but there was also other theories that Quando was trying to snatch King Vaughn's chain before fleeing the area. But 100k track believes that Vaughn was holding Quando there to shield himself. And was he trying to take Vaughn's chain or? Um, honest truth, I don't think B-Roy had no jewelry um, on and from the people that was a little bit closer. Vaughn was actually holding onto him like, man, you ain't going nowhere. Like you here, like even through getting he's that strong like he just like he was literally Crazy. holding him once everything calmed down and people stopped using their firearms it was an immediate race to save king von's life his closest friend muwap ran right into the middle of the street he knocked Quando rondo right out of the way causing Quando and his team to flee the scene meanwhile muwap was carrying king von into the getaway car to go to the hospital despite being affected four times by a firearm king von was conscious the entire time driving one of the members with king von in the car has now spoken out in 2024, where he would end up revealing that Vaughn was in good spirits and he was actually the calmest person in the entire vehicle. When he was in the car, um, I myself wasn't there. The gentleman that was in the car with him was panicking and Vaughn was the one that was like, hey, calm down, slow down, chill, I'm, I'm gonna be good, just get him to the hospital. And honest truth, we all thought that the way he was carrying himself, um, from that incident, from what I was told from the people in the car, that he would that he would have been fine. Once arriving to the hospital, King Von was immediately rushed into the operating room, but unfortunately passed during surgery. As the news of Von's passing would shake the entire rap industry, many big name artists reaching out and sharing love, as Von was one of Chicago's biggest rappers, and he was one of the most fearless and dangerous members that lived in Obla. It was actually unbelievable to see that Von had fallen to beef with another rapper. This made national headlines as officials confirmed one of the three people was rapper King Vaughn from Chicago, who was here last night with friends. Two groups of individuals got into a physical altercation. That physical altercation uh, escalated into an exchange of guns. On the other side, Lil' Tim survived his injuries at the hospital, but the following day, he would be arrested and charged with the passing of King Vaughn. Lil' Tim went through multiple bond hearings, but he was denied. However, in March 2021, he received a $100,000 bond, and ever since then, the charges against Lil' Tim were dropped. As confirmed by his attorney, 
in August of 2023, it states, the case against Mr. Leaks, aka Lil Tim, was dismissed before ever being indicted. However, life inside of O Block hasn't been nearly the same ever since Vaughn passed. The members are more on edge after seeing what happened to King Vaughn, someone they thought could never fall to the street life. Even something as simple as going across the street to look at Vaughn's mural, O Block members would show every single day during Instagram lives. Check it out. I'm walk over here and see this Levant, this Vaughn picture. I know it's a lot of ops on this. I'm letting y'all see where I'm at. Why is this black truck still right here? Man. Watch that truck. Watch that truck right there. 